Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about, you know, what is a normal cholesterol level? And I'll quickly go over some myths and warnings as well. Now, cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that is naturally present in cell walls or membranes everywhere in your body. Now, what's important to know is that your body uses cholesterol to produce many of your hormones, as well as one of the most important vitamins in the body, which is vitamin D. Now, high cholesterol in your bloodstream can lead to a narrowing of the arteries, which can cause a heart attack or stroke. So your goal is to have healthy cholesterol levels, which means not too high or too low. But one thing to keep in mind is that cholesterol levels is just one of many factors that can cause a heart attack or stroke, and usually it's not even the most important factor. Okay, so let's quickly go over you know what all these cholesterol numbers mean. First, we have the LDL cholesterol, which stands for low-density lipoprotein. Now, this form can build up on the walls of your arteries and increase your chances of you know getting heart disease. Now, this is why LDL cholesterol is referred to as the bad cholesterol. Your goal should be to keep it below 140 milligrams per deciliter, but the ratio of the HDL LDL actually matters even more. And if you can see from this chart, anything you know over 160 to 190 is very high. You don't want it that high. Next, we have your HDL cholesterol. HDL stands for high-density lipoprotein, which helps prevent your arteries from becoming blocked due to the LDL. Now, it does this by cleaning or hauling away all the excess cholesterol, lining the walls of your blood vessels, then bringing it back to the liver for reprocessing. So your goal should be to have higher HDL and lower LDL. And as seen by this chart, you know you want to keep it best about 60 milligrams per deciliter or higher. Then we have triglycerides, which are the form in which most fat exists in food and in the body. And it's often increased by sugars and alcohol. And you see from this chart, you want to keep it less than 150. And again, if it's over two or three, 400, it's really high. And you can improve it by just eating lower sugared foods. Then we have the total cholesterol numbers. And this is what most people look at. Now, your total blood cholesterol is a measure of your LDL cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol, and other lipid components. So it's a combination of numerous numbers. And this is why most people just you know simply focus on this number out of simplicity reasons. Now, remember, you don't want your cholesterol to be too low either, as seen in those who use statin prescription drugs. And this is because cholesterol is needed to produce many of your good youthful hormones. But as stated earlier, there's something else I want you to consider. So I want you to pay attention to something really important in the big picture. Now, did you know that heart disease is the number one killer, killing more people each year than all the other diseases combined? So improving your cholesterol levels is very important, but it's just one factor out of many when it comes to preventing and reversing heart disease. Now, you also need to improve your HDL-LDL ratios, your triglycerides, your homocysteine, other lipid levels. Ultimately, your goal isn't even to lower cholesterol or to prevent heart disease, but it's to not have a heart attack or stroke. It's basically to not die prematurely. So there is a big problem, something I've noticed over the years, and it's managing your lipid profiles is probably one of the most important aspects to health, longevity, and disease prevention. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get confusing or you might feel overwhelmed with just too much information, right? What to do or not to do. Plus, you know, making dramatic lifestyle changes such as eating better or eliminating lots of the different foods and exercise daily. You know, it's all very important, but for many people, it can be difficult to start and takes just a longer time to see results. And taking statin prescription drugs is never a good solution because of all the negative side effects. Now, I'm very familiar with this topic because these are all the same challenges I ran into with both my parents all the way back in 1999. So because of this, you know, I wanted a solution for my parents that was safe, it worked quickly, and just was easy. So I created a simple and very effective and proven all-in-one solution called Coleslo which is a small pill that helps to naturally lower your LDL bad cholesterol, also raise your HDL good cholesterol, it also helps lower triglycerides and homocysteine levels, and finally, it cleanses your liver, and this is where most cholesterols produce. Now, one major reason cholesterol is just better than other options is because it's doctor-formulated and clinically tested to work, and the feedback has been amazing, and since the product 
you know, has been around for, you know, almost 15 years or longer, you know it works and it's safe. Anyway, if you're looking for something that's natural for just total heart health, that's easy to take and works quickly, then take a look at the free video about how cholesterol works and how you'll benefit. You can also view the clinical studies, all the customer reviews that frequently ask questions and so forth. Now take a look and let me know what you think. Please do this now while it's fresh on your mind.